welcome to my channel so this is the video response to uh, someone who commented on my video uh, a few hours ago I was supposed to show him the firmware for the MX2 as well as the Gbox Q okay so his scenario was that his Gbox Q uh, just went on a black screen um, this 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 error normally appears on the MX2 as well uh, and the fix for it is that what I normally use and it works 90% of the time is just to reflash the firmware alright now to, to find the firmware um, it's going to be in the description below when you reach on the on the Gbox Q link you're going to come onto this screen right and then when you reach to the bottom right, right here where it says edit firmware link for those that would like to download the OTA update you're going to highlight this section right here. Then you're going to right click and copy. Now once you place it in, in there, just press enter and it's going to download it, right? Now I don't want it so I'm not going to download it. Alright, now for the MX2, you're going to also go into the description below under this video and you're going to uh, to click the link, alright? And it's going to reach you, it's going to carry you to this screen. And then what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna scroll down right here and you want to download the G apps as well as the the firmware 1.2.2. Alright, you don't need this recovery image. Alright, what's that and then what you're gonna do, you're gonna need like a pin, a safety pin or a toothpick, and you're gonna need an SD card. Alright. Now in my video when I compared all of the G boxes from the first G box to the G box MX2 and then the G box if you go to about four minutes um, into that video you'll see where the the AV plug is on the Gbox Q um, once again I'll still show you all right um, the, the the AV is right between the optical digital optical for sound and the Ethernet for internet it's right here you can't see that well in the picture but in the video right here you would see I pointed at it and I talk about it all right and then you're also going to want uh, to get an SD um, card once again um, it doesn't have it doesn't have to have any sp uh, specific specifications it just has to be able to hold a file which any SD card should be able to do right um, what you're going to do you're going to hold you're going to place that that toothpick into into the 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 AV slot on the Gbox Q and the MX2 um, take out take out the power cord place the the pin into that AV slot hold it put the power cord back in whilst you hold the the pin into the AV slot um, hold it while keep on holding it for about 10 seconds then it's going to take you into the BIOS or operating system within the operating system um, of that Gbox unit um, you have and then what you're going to do you're going to see a, a list of things. You're going to see your like reboot now, uh, factory reset, um, and then you're going to give you a few more options, and then it's going to give you the option to install from your SD card and so forth, or X or EXT, right? Extension. What you're going to do? You're going to factory reset it, and then you're going to install the firmware from the Gbox Q. All right. And that's and once it, once that is installed, then you're going to just reboot it. Now for the MX2, it's slightly different. Um, there's just one more step. After you install the firmware, before you reboot it, you're also going to have to install the G apps, all right, off the SD card, and then re and then reboot it, and then that's going to be suffice, all right. So the Thario Bo, thank you for asking that question. This is the answer for that question. And most times, at least about 90% of the time, um, once I do this that problem is fixed this this all this problem also fix like if you have lines in the screen and so forth thanks for watching click subscribe